guys, it's me. Today I'm today I got for the first time a French horn. It's pretty confusing. This one's uh kinda old. It's been passed in my school, so yeah. Um I just wanted to show you guys it. And how you hold it. I know, Mom! So first you want to lick your lips and the mouthpiece. And to put it on correctly, you want to put it, like, to your lip. You want to make sure that everything is, like, flat. Correctly, pretty sure that was an E. I, think. I don't know. I'd have to get my learning book to check. Stop. One second. What? I've been earning. 5,000 ticks each hour. On and Roblox? That's and, um, impossible. Yep. My advertisement's going wild. Okay, well, John, I'm making a video right now. You want to say hi to peeps? Hi, peeps. Hi! Yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to get basically, you know, started. Like, how to first learn. Now, what they did with me is they put a coffee stir straight in here. I don't do that anymore. Put basically in the middle. From this side. And kind of, kind of switch sides. And look with your eyes. Is it, and look with your eyes. Is it in the middle? I think that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna wet it with this, and I'm gonna push it more towards the down part. You don't want it too much like this. You wanna get the bottom lip involved. <laughs> now that's called a buzz. You wanna just go like, hmm, and then you wanna like do that and blow. Mm -hmm. Get you a pretty perfect pitch. Now, to put the mouthpiece in, because it's not going to come directly assembled, it's going to come like this with the, mouth, with the mouthpiece separate, and uh, what you do, people just think that you put it in. No, you put it in, get a little twist, and a little push down that it won't fall out. See how it's not falling out? But watch what happens if you just put it in. Straight off. So yeah, you don't want to do that. You always put it in, twist and pull down. And push down a little bit. You don't want to push down like too much like don't ever do that. Otherwise it could get stuck. You don't ever want it stuck in there, but if it ever is, um, you should ask an adult or a music storekeeper for help. Okay. Now, to play it, you put this hand, or whichever hand you're uh, not using to do these, in. Good, a good hint is to start, is to use this hand, since is on this side, you know, so that you won't have to go like this, and reach over and go, <coughs> no, you're always going to use this hand, and this is my left hand, 
One second, it got darker. Anyways, um, yeah, you can kind of see, but they make a little bit of sound. But that's good. See? Now you want to stick this hand inside the bell of the tuba, which is right here. It kind of looks like the shape of a bell. You stick your hand right in there. You don't want to literally plunge it up, otherwise it's going to sound like this. You want to do like this. Okay? You don't want it like this. You want it like this. One important thing is you never want to puff out your cheeks like... You never want to do that. You never want to go... You want to always go... And you never want to puff out your chin like go like... And stick it out. No, don't. Flatten down that chin and go like... Make sure that your lips are flat. So if you put your hand across the and parts that aren't supposed to be touching it, touch it, then you know you gotta fix it. You always want to keep it wet, because if it's too dry, it's not gonna play right. See, that is it when it's dry, and it, you see how it kind of like did that thing where it goes like here. See how it's just like going lower and lower? You don't want that. So you either want to, like, bring um, a bottle of water and a cup so that you can, like, dip your fingers in, spread it across, spread it on this, or you want to lick it with your lip, or with your tongue. So that you, instead of that sound we heard before, you get this. <laughs> Of course, it annoys the neighbors <laughs> and your brother. Um, there's also like a little slider here. Don't know if you can see it on the camera. Here. I'll hold it closer up. Right here. See this little loop? If I pull that out, it's like a slider thing. And it doesn't really work that well when I try. I'm not sure if there's a certain way. Sometimes people say that it's used to help it last longer. Sometimes people say that it's used to, um, oh, sorry, one second. Some people say that it's used, you know, just to do just to make the sound different. But I honestly don't know, you know? I don't know. It could, for, for all we know, it could be something just to look cool. Um, my case also did come with two more, well, with one more slider. It looks like two, but it's one. Um, yeah. Well, anyways, this is the basic tuba. I mean, <clears throat> French horn. You will see that it. it sorry, I just tooted. That would be perfect for French horn. I mean, it's like, could you imagine someone parts into it and it just blows out? It's like, even the pink blew out. Anyways, this is the basic bell. Let me show you all the parts now. So, this is the bell the bell, and, um, this is, like, brass, it is kind of scratchy, because it's been passed on, 
you can kind of see it's scratchy a little. And it used to smell like lemon, but it doesn't anymore. It doesn't smell like lemon anymore. Um, anyways, the top of the bell, and we're going to flip to the inside. The inside, if you look down, it's kind of, like, when you look at it, it's kind of, like, bottomless because there's so many twists and turns before you get to the actual thing. See, and I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to show you the path. Oh, crumb. Okay, I might need to flip it over because that's how confusing this thing is. So I'll start at the top here. I'll flip it this way. It might be easier. So we'll start here at the bell. If you go down, you'll kind of see that it spirals around here. And it doesn't actually just go to... It doesn't actually, when it spirals, it doesn't actually just go to the mouthpiece. It goes like this. Under this piece, around this piece, around, and under again, around, around, around. Then you get to this piece. Well, then you get to this piece, boom, boom, boom. Then you get to this piece, boom, boom, boom. Then you go here. <laughs> and, you, and that's pretty much that. <laughs> it does not work if you blow in this side. Ever. Like, <laughs> see how it doesn't come out the other end? But if you blow in this side... <laughs> The lovely sound you get. Yeah, as you can see, this instrument is very well modeled. Um, and actually, interesting fact: it used to be um a hunting horn that um a scavenger who would find a good place where animals were would take it with him and put it on his belt when he was riding the horse. And um when he found the perfect spot where a lot of animals were. He would blow his horn, and he wouldn't even have to, um, he wouldn't even have to, um, go back and blow it. Because he could just blow it from here, and the sound would come out the other end. So, yeah, he would blow it from this part here. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it. Here. He would blow from this part. And it would come up this way and signal the others that he found a good spot. The hunters would then come and it would be easier to shoot down the animals. Of course, it would scare some of the animals away, such as small bunnies, um, some snakes, and of course chipmunks, squirrels, and raccoons. But, you know, other than that, it didn't scare bears or Dear, but yeah. Wait, how long is this thing? What the huh? Oh my gosh! Does it really? Is this really three hours long? What the heck? Did I really do this for three hours? No, I did. That's huh? Oh my God! I'm I'm sorry about this. It's just you know how when you record a video, it shows you how much time you did in. Mine says three dot dot fourteen dot dot twenty two twenty three twenty four and on and on and on. Did I really do this for three hours, Mom? How long ago was it since we've been at Grandma's? How long ago was it since we've been at Grandma's? An hour. Wait, so this is incorrect. It says I've been filming for three hours. No, I haven't. Liar pants. Sorry, not you guys. It's just my stupid computer. So yeah. <laughs> Bye.
And definitely this video is not three hours long.